All right, family, I'm back again. Um, and this is the other side of the coin, which talks about guilt. What is guilt? What is the difference between shame and guilt? We just talked about shame. So let's go to this guilt thing here. Guilt is a tricky one for a lot of us because there is a healthy guilt and then there is unhealthy guilt. And often it is hard to know the difference. Um, healthy guilt lets us know when we have authentically done something to hurt someone and it provides the energy and the drive for us to want to correct the hurt. Okay, that's that's healthy guilt. Um, unhealthy guilt, unauthentic guilt tells us that we have done something wrong when we really haven't. And thus it provides a lot of energy and drive to keep us feeling paralyzed. Anytime we step outside of ourselves and make something happen, we are open to feeling guilty. It is appropriate to feel guilty because we want to go back to school and get a college diploma. Just because our husband wants us home every night to give him back rubs? Uh, should we feel guilty for not wanting to be around our parents when they physically and emotionally abuse us? We don't think so. Okay, so that that that's different. Now listen to that again. Anytime we step outside ourselves and make something happen, we are open to feeling guilty. Okay, open to that phenomenon, that that emotion. But is it appropriate to feel guilty because we want to go back to school and get a college diploma just because our husband wants us to stay home every night and give him back rubs or her back rubs? Should we feel guilty for not wanting to be around our parents when they physically and emotionally abuse us? I don't think so. Feelings, awareness is a key to recovery from dysfunctional family system. We invite you to have your feelings because they are truly your feelings. And it's the little child within who needs to be nurtured, loved, listened to, and affirmed, held, and protected. Have your reverence for your feelings and you will begin to have reverence for yourself. And I want to definitely, definitely encourage you to get back in touch with that little child inside yourself, that child that needs to be loved. And more importantly, that child that needs to be listened to. You can listen to yourself now. Affirm. The unaffirmed things that the little child was looking for. You have the ability to make those things happen for yourself now. And I'm sorry that they didn't happen when they should have. But it's never too late to get that for yourself. Because one thing about it, when you begin to tackle these things that you don't really know as organic, or authentic things growing inside of you, then there's a side, side of you that you say stay disconnected from. You know, I, I used to listen to dudes or a lot of guys and stuff when they all in their ego and a false self and playing all hard, especially in the black community, because they don't really have nothing else to feel uh, hard and proud about. So, you know, we have to do it with things that have to do with machismo and, and, and ego. And so the minute you ask that person, you mean, you mean tell me when your baby is born, this is the feeling that you have, you, you feel like a gangster? You want to kick somebody down and beat somebody down as soon as your baby came out of the womb? Or did you just feel like melting down like butter? Like, wow, who is this? Look at this life I'm responsible for. That didn't happen to you? Because usually I don't care the, the strongest and the most black hearts, the blackest of hearts out there, usually melt down like butter when they see a new life coming to the world. So that has to be an aberration of nature when a person doesn't see the birth of a baby as a newness, a new beginning, new life, and is a beautiful thing. 
So I want to encourage, again, y'all, to know the difference between shame and guilt. Guilt says, again, there's something wrong with what I did, and either it's healthy or unhealthy guilt. Okay? In unhealthy guilt, again, means feeling guilty about something you know you didn't even do. Kind of like the state of black people in America. It's kind of, we feel sometimes guilty. And for what reason? I know because that, that's because the dominant society at some point is trying to make us feel invisible. Okay? And so I understand that. I'm very, very aware of that. And it's a misplaced emotion. It's a misplaced emotion because we have no reason to feel guilty. It's at least about that in terms of on the, on the outers, uh, the bigger, larger society. But again, we start in our homes and we spread abroad because that's where charity begins. It begins in the home and it spreads abroad. So we got to be willing um, to know the difference between guilt and shame and then act and live our lives accordingly. Okay? All right. All right, people. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And... If you have subscribed, don't forget to hit, click the little bell, the notification button, so you can be notified whenever a video is dropping. And in the meantime, in between time, I'll see you in the next video.